Start with an interview. Heute ist bei uns Wax. Nice to have you here in Germany. Hey man, it's an honor to be here. Yeah. An honor, a privilege, and it's just great. Yeah, you can you vielleicht von dem song Rosanna. In Germany it's always difficult because the people don't understand the lyrics. Right, right. Only the people uh, who can spot, uh, speak English. But they can But get the boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, hey, boom, boom. Hey, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, what everybody sings then. Right, right. So it's a cool song. Nice to have you here. When you did that song, you know that, okay, that boom, boom, hey, yeah. that's like so, so catchy, that has to be a hit. Yeah, dude, that's, that song's not a hit where I'm from. That's not, I mean, it's a, hit, it's a hit on the internet. It's yeah. a hit, like, people love the video and watch the video, and my fan, I got fans that love the song, but it's not a hit like it is here. But I always, I always thought it was a hit song. It's, it's easy for, like you said, boom, boom, hey, and uh, what's my motherfucking name? Yeah, you, know, it, like, and you got uh, the Sp uh, Spanish people or Mexican people yeah, that yeah. play on the trumpet, yeah. or like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so exactly. you have naked girls in your video, so I mean, it has yeah, to be a hit. It was like a, it was like a whirlwind. It had the, the sexy chick, yeah. the comedy, and then like the catchy melodies. All yeah. that together just made it so. Where do you have your scar from? I fell off a bicycle. Yeah. When I was really, this one is really also young. from bicycle. I was really. Yeah. I, I was going like... down. I was going down a big hill. Yeah. I was like six years old, and I had my bike, and it was a it was a bike that there was no brakes, and the pedals just went like that uh, uh, when it went faster. Like I don't know why my mom had me on a un, <laughs> not a dangerous bike like that, <laughs> but I just I had some something happened, and I just flipped over the handlebars and I just slid oh, on my shit. shit. Yeah. And it, as I get older, it gets more. It gets. Bigger? Yeah, you can like more pronounced. Can you feel like the weather with it? I got a, uh, a scarf on my... <laughs> what will the battery well, tomorrow? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, ask the scarf. Yeah. Ring. Yeah, <laughs> you even had a major deal, I read. I did. I was there for a while and it, it was cool. It was a good learning experience, but it just wasn't the right... It wasn't the right music making environment well, for me. I, I, read, I read about it because you, you, you were telling... Um, you make music for fun and, and it was like too much around it, around that music making thing, being on a label, like having like uh, uh, interviews, doing like, it's like a real job, it's like, right. like eight uh, to... It wasn't, it wasn't, it, I love doing interviews, I mean, but the, the problem is, you know, the, the, what, what, what record companies want is hit records. I have no problem with hit records, I'm happy to have Rosanna as a hit record, but like when you, when <laughs> you I, have to do yeah, when, I, when I was broke, when I had no money, What made me happy was playing music, not mm. when I got some money. You know what I'm saying? So I got all this money, and now they want me to make this different music with all these people that make all the hits and everything. And I just didn't believe in it. And I started, I started to like kind of be uncreative and depressed. And then the label was like, "Fuck this guy." And mm. when they when they dropped me, I was like, I just started getting happy, and I started having fun with it again. And uh, so, do you think uh, people need major deals, uh, deals in all time? I think it's I think it's different for everyone. Yeah. I think if because Michael Moore, if you if you take him, he right. has a, a semi major deal, but right. he's doing all, a lot but of stuff. He doesn't, he doesn't need it. Like, yeah, Mac, Michael Moore was fine before. He yeah. like he, he toured independently and did very well. But if you're if you're a 17 year old kid, pretty kid, having a dream, that, looks, <laughs> that, 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 that just wants like some people. I want to be a musician. Mm. Yeah. Some people want to be a star. Mm. I never gave a shit about being okay, a star. Okay, okay, yeah, that's like, a real difference. You know, very yeah. much so. But like, an actor, movie star. You know what I'm saying? Those are two very different things. Yeah, some um, some people got love for that thing they do and don't do the thing to be something. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So, um, after you broke up with the label, or the label broke up with you, right, I don't right. really know. Um, <laughs> what was it like? The next step after that is what was like. Okay, I'm free again. Let's let's search another label which do like real good job and don't want hits from me. Or, right. or what was the next step after that? No, well, but well, with like I have I have a fan base in the states. Like I can tour. I, I make I make money off people watching my YouTube videos. You know the ads. Okay, that are yeah, on there. we know that. And uh, thank you. And and, <laughs> and the thing is, uh, I I like I don't I did I don't need a label. I, I I don't have to get a job. I can make I make a I was all, before I got the deal. I was making a living. I was eating off music. Mm. So like I, I I like now I'm just like I don't need a label. But then somebody I put out this Rosanna video and somebody from over here called me. And it's one thing for that for somebody to say we want you to come here and make hits. It's another thing for somebody to say we like that. We want to make it a hit. Like if I have no problem with major labels, but I'm just not doing that songwriting shit anymore. They I'm not power. I'm not doing like the the go into a studio with somebody and try to make a hit. I'm just gonna write my shit and that's how it's gonna be. Yeah, I've been on YouTube and checking some comments of you. That's a thing I like to do a lot because YouTube uh, people are very funny. Yeah, they write honest, honest things. Right <laughs> yeah. 
And uh, I have a few comments here in German, but I translated to you um, okay. the, uh, right after uh, under your video. That's um, a great idea for a segment for a video, by the way, to find the YouTube. Yeah. Comments. Yeah. Uh, uh, somebody wrote here, Hasgewa Hauko wrote, uh, I bet you had a boner during uh, <laughs> the video, the video making. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I had a boner because there were so many people around. There wasn't that many people on the set, but I, don't, I did not have a boner. No. Okay. No, I, 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 I definitely I, I might like, have oh, okay. had, had like a semi. Yeah, okay. You know? <laughs> like not, not this, but maybe like Half that. Half. Yeah, <laughs> a nice one. Yeah, yeah what we call like. Uh, Half mast. You know? Okay. <laughs> we can. We know that in German too. Half mast. Half mast. Half mast. Semi wood. <laughs> semi wood is what we call it. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I can't. I can't I, yeah, there was a little bit there. Probably yeah. he got a boner while watching you in the video. Uh, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you can come place. <laughs> <laughs> Marcel wrote um, when I first uh, heard that song, I thought it would sing a black guy. Have you heard it a lot of times? Oh, you thought oh, a black guy was yeah, singing it? Yeah, that you, that yeah. you uh, oh. are a black guy. Because uh, just of the voice and the, the things you're saying and I don't know why. I don't know, I think, because I think it's German and I think he thinks I think every, every rapper is a black guy. I don't know, maybe. I think, I, think, I think as a white guy you just kind of have to take that as a compliment. Yeah, you yeah. Know? You just have to you take rap that like as a black guy, it's cool. Huh? Right, well, black people invented it, you yeah. know, so, I mean, you know. Most, it's a compliment. Most white people, you know, we don't have the soul, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But I, I'm, I'm half, I'm half Cuban. Oh, okay. So I give it. I mean, so I'm, like not, I'm not bull. black. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, half, I'm half pit bull and then half who's, who's Irish. I'm half Irish and half Cuban. So I'm half pit bull and half. Mclemore is Irish, I think. Oh, is, is he it? Irish? I don't know. Maybe kind of. There's one song. <laughs> there's one song about Conan Irish celebrity celebration or something. Conan O'Brien. I don't know if you know Conan O'Brien. No. I would love to give you a beatbox, and you can tell the audience whatever you want in half a minute. And I'll give you a beatbox. Give I, me a beatbox. I, I love beatboxing for All good right. rappers. Yeah, 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 uh, freestyling, uh, uh, over here in Germany, we in Berlin, G, me and my brother Herbal T, red like the burgundy, beat your ass black like the burger meat, red, pound it, you know we get down, kid, yeah, and that's just how it sounded, the profound is, yeah, yeah, we get down with it. My man on the video tip, we gon' do a dang thing, yeah, give me a rip like the key. Me on the MIC in the place of big Germany, know you heard of me. Rosanna, freaky little mama, like Obama, terrorized like Osama. Uh, yeah, these fool like the Dalai Lama. <laughs> Freunde, das war das Interview mit Wax. Ich hoffe, euch hat es gefallen. Wenn ihr Englisch könnt, dann cool. Habt ihr alles verstanden? Wenn ihr kein Englisch konntet, cool. Wir haben Untertitel runtergemacht. War voll die Arbeit, Mann. Woo! Über diese Untertitel, über diese englischen Leute. Ne, äh, wenn es euch gefallen hat, auf jeden Fall, gebt einen Daumen nach oben und so weiter. Und am Wochenende sind wir mit White Titty unterwegs auf der U-Messe. Das Material davon gibt es nächste Woche zu gucken. Hoffen wir mal, dass Vielleicht wir nächste Woche fertig. Nächste Woche oder übernächste Woche. Vielleicht kommt auch noch eine grandiose Parodie. Von wem verraten wir euch allerdings noch nicht? Geheimnis. Könnte aber bisschen. zusammenhängen mit Dingen, die passiert sind so in der. Vielleicht mit White Titty, vielleicht hängt es auch mit jemand anderem zusammen. Vielleicht postet ihr einfach unten äh, eure Vorschläge in die Kommentare. Die was sagt White Titty immer? Postet es runter. Nee, oder so, runter in den Kommentaren. Kommst du auch aus diesem Dorf da? Wie heißt es? Bayern. Bayern heißt das. <lacht> nee, also check mal ab. Also ihr könnt schätzen, mit wem, über wem machen wir eine Parodie. Einfach runter in die Kommentare gepostet. Jawohl. Das ist der letzte Sommer. Uh. Wollen wir White Titi parodieren? Das mach ich auch. Das ist ja auch lustig. Tschüss! Yes. <lacht>